watching New York One News All Morning. And uh, finally, a, a man from Long Island named Ron Douglas has the, uh, the secret recipe on page 15 of the Post this morning. As uh, part of a website he created in a self-published book of copycat recipes of, of restaurant favorites, here it is. Uh, he doesn't know for sure, but he, he spent a lot of time experimenting and believes that he has, has replicated the, the classic Colonel Sanders 11 herbs and spices recipe. And if you want to make KFC replica chicken at home, that's how you do it. It's in the post this morning, although you can find it in his book as well. Let's look at some of what's in the papers on this Monday. You're watching the PIX News at 10. Wonder, did you ever wonder exactly what those 11 herbs and spices in KFC's original recipe are? No. No? <laughs> Surprisingly, a lot of people do. In fact, a chef from our area says he has figured out the answer to that and many other fast food secrets. Rob Hoyle was at a KFC in Flushing where arguably the most famous secret recipe in the world may finally be out of the bag. With 11 herbs and spices, Kentucky Fried Chicken's original recipe is perhaps one of the most closely guarded trade secrets. But Ron Douglas claims he's figured out just how the Colonel does it. Now use oregano, garlic, uh, chili powder, onion salt, uh, sage, majoron. Ron admits it took lots of chicken and years to duplicate the secret recipe. The hardest part to cloning them is trying to uh, figure out the different amounts of the ingredients. So what do patrons of this KFC on Northern Boulevard in Flushing think about the possibility of doing it at home? We're all capable of doing it. We'll even do it better. You never know. I think the secret recipe is still hidden, so it's, it's rather difficult to duplicate. In a statement, KFC told us Colonel Sanders' secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices is one of the most famous recipes in the world, and the precautions taken to safeguard the identity of the ingredients is second to none. The statement went on to say that plenty of people over the years have tried to duplicate the recipe, but say there's only one place to get the original and that's right here at the KFC in Flushing or any other KFC location. Ron challenges anyone to tell the difference between his chicken and the Colonel's. He's so into cooking and figuring out what goes into the dishes we love at the most popular restaurant chains, he left his six-figure Wall Street job to write America's Most Wanted Recipes, the book revealing how to prepare 200 meals from 57 different eateries, including Applebee's, Denny's, and Cheesecake Factory. Ron's book hit bookshelves about two weeks ago and is selling really well. Being the quick-witted reporter that I am, I asked Ron if his book is selling like hotcakes to it. He replied, like IHOP hotcakes, page 107. Rob Hoyle, Picks News at 10. It's one of the best kept secrets in fast food history, or so they say. Or maybe it was. Colonel Sanders' original Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe, that special blend of herbs and spices. Now, an ex banker says he's cracked the code, sort of. That and cheddar biscuits coming up. <laughs> Top stories coming right up, but first, it's a mystery that's fascinated generations and a secret that helped build an empire. Colonel Sanders, 11 herbs and spices. Now, a man from where else but Long Island says he has figured out what's in them. And here it is, at least according to, the, to this uh, Long Islander. Oregano, dried sage, and more. It's all there in a new book called America's Most Wanted Recipes. I spoke with that author, Ron Douglas, and his hat. He explained one of his tricks for learning secret ingredients. Occasionally, we'd go to a restaurant and tell them that um, my wife is allergic to a lot of different ingredients, and we'd wow. ask them what's in the actual dish because of her allergies. And sometimes wow. they'd tell us, and, you know, depending on where we went. Hi. Well, that was dumb of them, wasn't it? Douglas says his website gets more than a million hits each month, and he brought food, so we liked him. Okay, I can't wait for okay. that. But I can't wait for this. I'm excited Arnold about this, too. Sanders' secret recipe now exposed. All 11 delicious herbs and spices revealed in a new cookbook. Investigative chef and author of America's Most Wanted Recipes, Ron Douglas is here. Ron, come on over here. How are you? Good morning to you. Hey, Ron. Hi, good morning. Uh, Thanks for now, having me. Uh, the, the secret uh, recipe for the Colonel's original recipe fried chicken. There yes. they all are. Get a the, pen ready. The 11 herbs and spices and stuff. 
How'd you figure this stuff out? Well, I'd like to take all the credit myself, but <laughs> it's actually a collective effort between me and the people on my website, RecipeSecrets.net, and we have over 193,000 subscribers, and uh, each week we publish different recipes, and they chime in, provide their feedback. Well, there, well there they are. I, w I was expecting a plutonium or something that you <laughs> normally would, you wouldn't put in with, uh, with chicken. But that's all pretty normal stuff. I guess it's the combination. Yes, yeah, the combination of those spices as well as uh, having a high-powered pressure cooker like they have in the restaurants that give it that gummy, gives it that gummy texture on the t on the chicken. And I go for gummy. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if you're listening on radio, or here it is: oregano, chili powder, dried sage, and I haven't committed the rest of memory. Margarine, because I just lost yeah. it. Uh, um, salt and pepper, paprika, onion, salt, garlic powder, and accent. Right. Biggest surprise? Uh, I would say accent. I agree. That, that is the surprise. Now, yeah. Ron, how many times did you have to taste it to make sure that you were getting the exact recipe? Uh, dozens of times I tried this recipe. I mean, the, the full recipe is available in my cookbook, America's Most Wanted Recipes, which was just published by uh, Simon Schuster. Yep. Came out July 7th. It's available at Amazon.com, uh, Barnes and Nobles. Uh huh. Now, what about Kentucky Fried Chicken? Are they are they angry that you've got the recipe out there? Because I know people mm -hmm. have tried before, but have they uh, suggested any sort of lawsuit? No, I mean, a lot of people have, have tried it, and, you know, I don't think I'm taking away any business from KFC. If anything, it's a promotion for them. I don't claim, you know, that it's their version. I claim it's my version of right. the recipe that's pretty close, if that's not exactly. That's genius, by the way. Yeah, but what about the other 56 restaurants? I mean, you get stuff from TGI Fridays, Taco Bell, P.F. Chang's, Planet Hollywood. Oh, you've got the Captain Crunch chicken from Planet Hollywood. That's yeah, that favorite. came out pretty well, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, well, people really like to make these recipes at home, and as I said, these are my version of the recipes, along with, with the people on my uh, recipe site, RecipeSecrets.net. And it's really a, a fun way to, uh, you know, make your favorite dishes at home, save money in the process, and get kudos from your family and friends by making these dishes. They won't believe that you made it yourself. See, when I first saw your book, America's Most Wanted Recipes, I thought it was recipes of fugitives. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? When you're on the uh, land, <laughs> don't have a Bunsen burner. How do you get something yeah. hot? Exactly. That's the next cookbook I'm coming up with. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you something. Uh, in, in, the, in the real world, uh, when you found when you find out what these recipes are do you feel almost let down because don't we like the mystery of what's in that Friday's dish we just ordered what's in the bucket we just uh, waited online for Right, a little bit, but it's also the pleasure of knowing that you've kind of conquered that recipe and you can make it yourself whenever you want now Do you so know what the a... secret sauce is in McDonald's? Uh, yeah, it's in the book actually what? <laughs> it's all in the book. Oh, it's all in the book. It's too hot to handle. It is America's Most Wanted Recipes. Ron Douglas, we thank you very much for joining us live. Thank you. It's Thanks a pleasure. Lot. Thank you, Take sir. Uh, don't go. Don't go. Just stay right here. We have yeah. some more talking to do, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, not to you, to somebody else. You're watching the award winning TV 10 and 55 News at 11 with Richard Rose and Michelle Imperato. Weather with David Weiss and Sports with Kurt Semter. Now, the news at 11 continues. And finally, tonight, has a Long Island man cracked the code for KFC's famous <laughs> original fried chicken? This is big news, folks. Yes. The self-proclaimed foodie says he has, and now he's sharing the recipe with the rest of the nation. It started out as a hobby for Ron Douglas, spending time in his Glen Cove kitchen, trying to figure out some of the most popular recipes from America's chain restaurants. This led to creating his own website, RecipeSecrets.net, and his own book, America's Most Wanted Recipes. It was self-published, released it in uh, 2003, and there were probably like six or seven different versions of it throughout the years but it was all only available on my website up until now. Now Simon & Schuster has just released the book. The 34-year-old married father of two says to perfect the 200 recipes inside, it took a lot of testing in the kitchen, input from the members of his website, and even going to the restaurants themselves like KFC to see if they would hand over the secret recipe for their fried chicken. A friend of my brother worked at KFC, and I went and paid him a visit, and I, you know, I tried to see if he can get the recipe, but you know, they really have a tight security on that thing. Well, what's next for Ron? A second book is already in the works, and hopefully his own cooking show. But he says he's still a regular guy from Glen Cove. It's a great feeling. It's new to me, and it's just a blessing all around. In Glen Cove, Christina Renault, TV 10 at 55 News. Listen up to this. A Glen Cove man says he has cracked some of the most coveted secret restaurant recipes. Now, 34-year-old Ron Douglas, right here, you see him, says 
He has figured out the top secret recipe for Colonel Sanders' fried chicken. He's putting it in his new book, America's Most Wanted Recipes. The collection includes more than 200 recipes that emulate dishes at chains like Olive Garden, the Cheesecake Factory, and Red Lobster. If you want information on Ron Douglas and his cooking secrets, head to news12.com, click on numbers and links. Mm. This is Eyewitness News. A local man says he's cracked KFC's secret finger-licking good fried chicken mm -hmm. recipe. Ron Douglas of Glen Clove, Long Island, says he spent years trying to come up with that original recipe. The former Wall Streeter claims he's figured it out, complete with the 11 herbs and spices that Colonel Sanders used. He started a website of copycat recipes of some of the nation's most popular restaurants, and now Simon & Schuster has published his book of those recipes featuring his KFC solution.